Now, we will need to, uh, to do a very tricky part of the assembling. Have a look at those cables. Well, what are those cables? This cable connects all the LEDs and front switches to your motherboard. As you can read here, there's the hard drive LED, the power switch, the reset switch, the speaker, system speaker, and the power LED. Okay, so this is an ASUS ROG motherboard, so there's that little adapter that helps you to put in your cables. But if you're not using an ASUS motherboard, you will have to connect those pins one by one on the motherboard. So I'll explain you which is the scheme to connect them. Right here has the hard drive LID, which is also called EDE LID. And her a very small sign that shows you the plus and the minus connectors. Normally the plus is the red one and the minus is the white one. Now for the switches is completely uh, the same if you attach them on one side or on the other since they doesn't have plus or minus cables. Let's turn it. Now you see the speaker connector which is 4 pin speaker ground ground and plus 5 volts ray okay even for the speaker is exactly the same if you touch it on one side or on the other just check that you're putting it on its connector now Power LED. This may be tricky if there's not this plus written on both sides. And okay, in my case, green is the plus and white is the negative. It really depends on your case and motherboard manufacturer. Now, all those connectors go uh, on that big white socket. Also on the motherboard is written what goes where. You may need to try a few times to understand which is plus and which is the minus of your LIDs. Sorry if you can't see it, but it's again it's hard to do with one hand. Here's the connector hooked up to the motherboard. And also this step is done. Well now Last but not least, we have to put in the graphics card or the graphics cards. This depends on the configuration that you're going to use. Okay, you will see uh, that there are one or more PCI Express slots on your motherboard. They are the long ones with the clips at the end. To insert the graphics card, push the clip until it moves. Do it on all the PCI X16 slots that you're gonna use. Then take your graphics card and slide it into your slot until the card is completely inserted. Now, the graphics cards are normally very heavy, so you will need to screw them to so they won't they won't move. 
and or break. Those cards are a dual slot solution so they um, they took twice the space of other graphics cards. Middle end and high end graphics cards normally takes two slots in your case. So if you're going to use a lot of graphics cards, make sure that you have enough space into your casing to place them in your motherboard and case slots and to dissipate the heat that it will produce. So I repeat, this is a dual crossfire system. So it doesn't require a lot of space, but if you're going to use, oh sorry, uh, triple way or full way crossfire or SLI then you will need much more space as you can see I've uh, nearly fulfilled my case for putting in those components okay now you have the last two steps. Pay attention because they're very important. Graphics cards today consume a lot of energy. If you're using a middle range or an, uh, an high-end graphics card, you will find a 6-pin or 8-pin connector for the power. Make sure you have enough of them on your PSU to power your graphics cards. Connect them into the power connectors of the graphics card and you're done. How many pins are used really depends on, on the kind of card that you're going to use. Also you can see that there are two more pins here to be used for PCI X16 cards that consume more energy. Well, now, since this is a crossfire setup, you will need crossfire bridges to connect the graphics cards. Have a look at this. On the graphics cards, there are one or two connectors at the top which are called gold fingers and they obviously are the same size of the crossfire bridge connectors attach the crossfire bridge connectors and now your cards can communicate between them and you'll be able to enable Crossfire X technology. Well, now once all those things are inside your case and they are connected, you're ready to boot up your system for the very first time. Hope this was useful and thanks for watching.